Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I kind of want to show you a wrench that I've been really on the fence about. The Wera Joker 6004. These were actually turned on to me by a subscriber here that asked me if I had seen these yet. And I thought, well, I'll look them up and see. And there's some very interesting wrenches, to say the least. So, I went ahead and I really wanted, I looked online and there are a very few videos about these. Most of which are just scavenged stuff from Wera advertisements for these. Vera. I'll try to say Vera. I know you all keep getting me for that. But they're the Vera 6004. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Now, that's how they come right there. I've been using these since November. Okay? So, I wanted to give them a good go, but I went ahead and boxed them back up so I could show you all kind of how they come. And uh, I haven't really used the tool roll for them, even though Vera makes some very nice tool rolls for these. And, of course, it comes with their nice little... Tool, be a tool rebel sticker and a set and they send you real velcro like that so it's velcro brand if you want to stick these packs on the side of another bag this is self-adhesive velcro and you can literally just stick it right on and it's some heavy stuff you can hear that but uh, they always give you the really nice case with them too every wrench set well for the price you pay yeah absolutely very very nice quality even the packaging and this is what it looks like inside these have little protective deals over the top and you can flip that back behind the wrenches to actually show what they look like and that's what you're actually getting in this case you get four sizes and starting from the smallest which is a seriously baby wrench i mean look at that isn't that just almost adorable size. Uh, we're talking three eighths to one quarter of an inch is what this will fit on. And the heads on these, and get this where it'll focus good for you. The heads rotate like that. We're gonna get a bigger one here. So three eighths to one quarter, or a quarter to three eighths, or seven to 10 millimeter. The next size up is a 10 to 13 millimeter and seven sixteenths to half inch. Third wrench in the set is a 13 to 16 or a half to 5 eighths. Next one up from that is a 16 to 19, known as a 5 eighths to 3 quarter in Freedom Units. So that's what the wrench looks like there. And we've kind of shown this on a couple others' videos, but we've been wanting to show these off a little bit. And the heads rotate like that. And the only part of this that's plastic that you'll find is this black piece right underneath the head, right there. So otherwise, there are actually a very substantial wrench in your hand, obviously, except for this little pinky finger sized one. But the larger one, very nice. And this whole set goes from their small, well, extra small, small, medium, and large. They do make an extra large of this that goes up, I believe, from three quarter to one inch. Don't quote me on that, but I think so. Because this set will take you from one quarter inch to three quarters of an inch with four wrenches. So that's kind of the uh, draw for these as you cover more than one size. So, not wanting to just show you these, I want to show you how they actually work. So, being we have a little shop here, I went ahead and made me a test board for these. And we've got everything from lag bolts to regular nuts and washers and all that good stuff on here. And I believe I got as big as, I think this is a 5 8 So when you actually put your, your 3 quarter wrench on, it's very close to the full size of that wrench. And we'll do some close-ups of this, but to kind of show y'all how these work, this head rotates and you just pop it on like that and i believe it can be as easy and they hold pretty well just put the top of the wrench head there rotate it down with your hand then you can literally use this like an adjustable wrench once you're locked in turn it and then it will just auto set going back that way and you can continue to turn without ever removing the wrench from the fastener that you're wanting to rotate so whether you're loosening or tightening and they have the little jaw there with the hooks right here in the front and those will actually snap on to the points 
of a bolt head. If I can get myself where I can see what I'm showing you. Absolutely, like that right there. See how that is no longer in the back of the wrench? It's right on the points of the head. So if you need to pick it up off the points to turn, that's all that would take right there. But very quick, and the same obviously in reverse. You can flip it around, work it this way, and that's the kind of speed you're looking at getting with one of these. That's the large one. Obviously, we've got some uh, bolts on here that fit, and that's how they go on, just that kind of level of smooth. Flip it around, need to loosen. Same story in reverse, just really nice and fast. So that's the idea behind these. Now, I have moved these into my Vito Pro Packs that live in the truck, but the problem is I'm such a big fan of the Knipex pliers wrench. And that is their, their nice, uh, this is the one I carry in my pocket all the time. And you've seen before, they adjust with the button there on the side. And the deal with it is when you put these on and you adjust these to fit, when you put them on, it's no longer like an adjustable wrench. When you squeeze this handle, that jaw actually tightens. So you're gripping as you're turning. So these are not a replacement for the Nipex pliers wrench. So if that's what you're wanting to do with them, they have not been a success in that regard for me. If I need to be able to grip the head as well as turn it, this is the way to go. If I'm using a case where, you know, a normal wrench, say an adjustable wrench is good, or a... Um, what's the other one we use a lot? Open-ended wrenches. If you carry, you know, the Wera... Oh, what are they called? I'll get there in a minute. The the really nice Wera open-ended wrenches. I use those quite a bit also, but these are a good somewhere in between the pliers wrenches and an adjustable wrench. They're a whole lot faster than an adjustable wrench to use. The resetting is very quick, and you don't have to worry about losing the setting in the head. Like, you know, you're using an adjustable wrench around and around a few times, and slowly the little... Uh, the little spiral deal is undoing the head and each time you use it it's actually set for a larger nut and that gets very frustrating at least for me that's pretty much why i eliminated all those from my bags and went with these but now that i have this set i do know that a lot of the nuts i'm getting a hold of especially on gas piping you know for appliances stoves hookups natural gas stuff the three quarter inch is not a large enough size. That just does not open large enough to fit some of the nuts on those, especially the five eighths and three quarter lines. So you really need one to go on up to a one inch or so to be perfect. But that one wrench is in the $80, $90 range, I believe. So I haven't added it to the collection yet. I actually wanted to see if I liked this style before I bought <laughs> yet another one. Because the actual set does not have all their sizes, unfortunately. So, anyway, that's pretty much what these do. This, there's an even smaller one. This would be the regular small size. And, and they've got all the torque you need. Like, you can see, you'd only need, and I'm twisted, that's a lag bolt, and you can run it down until you strip it out in a piece of three-quarter plywood with this. They've held up extremely well. Very solid built units. So, I want to show you a little bit of unhooking, you know, a water heater and some things like that here as well while I'm talking to you about them, but very great little set of wrenches if you're looking to put an entire set of wrenches in a very small space. Specifically, say you had a lot of half inch and five eighths fittings on the jobs that you do, and maybe that's the primary one you need. Or if you're in very tight spaces and once this wrench is in that space, it's very frustrating to have to take it off the nut and reset it. With the fact these will just these will just rotate back on the head to reset like that. That That's very hard to beat because you never have to lose contact with the head of the nut that you're trying to turn. So for me, that is a big blessing. But anyway, that is the Wera Joker 6004 set. Curious what you guys think about them. How many of y'all out there actually have a set of these and have used them? out in the real world. That's that's what I've been trying to do with them for the last three months. And uh, so far, they're really great for what they're designed for. Does everybody need them? Absolutely not. 
uh, you could go with just the Knipex pliers wrenches and be just fine. You can also go with your uh, your uh, normal open-ended wrenches, and those are great as well. But if you want something that can eliminate maybe a couple of wrenches in your bag, that's what one of these is going to do. Uh, so if you have specific bags set up for several different things and you wanted to put a couple sizes in one bag, a couple sizes in another bag, depending on the projects, these would be ideal because eliminating things from your bags is really nice, especially with the fact Vito almost encourages the overloading of their bags and you get to the point where you're going to need a hernia belt to walk around with these things. But anyway, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there. We're coming up on a couple thousand subscribers really fast. Hopefully you're enjoying the new studio space. We even got a little wear of green going on back here for this video. I just had to. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this, and we'll see you on the next one.